Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. I am your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me, of course, for the Berlin Conference Round 2. <clears throat> so in this Berlin Conference, we will divide up and exchange some colonial territories between me, the G Greater German Reich, the Italian Kingdom, as well as the Nation Francais, but as well as National Spain. So I've already set this up a little bit. State transfer tool mod. I've already selected quite a few things in which a lot of the territory already marked will return back to the Greater German Reich. And magic. So I'm basically just trying to form or reclaim the territories that uh, Germany lost in the First World War. Now I'll probably do something about this Italy spot here. But I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do. In exchange for those territories, I will make sure that Der Az Zur, as well as Aleppo, where's Aleppo, are immediately transferred to the it Kingdom of Italy. Just Italy. Uh, with that in mind, because I can already go ahead and annex Vinci, Vichy France, I basically can just control their territories and transfer territory to whoever I feel like. That is their territory. Cool. So I made sure the Spanish be a little compensated and exchange for the rest of this territory down here in this part of Africa that the Italians probably don't want to deal with. So I will deal with it myself. I will take it. Oh, as well as this. Just because Italian territory separated by two chunks of German territory doesn't sound very good. But this looks kind of nice. I actually might form some sort of South African Rex Commissariat now. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea. While keeping uh, the Greater German Reich. Oh, wait, maybe not. Hmm. Maybe we should just expand the Reichs Commissariat at Belgium. Maybe not. Hmm. I'm getting ideas now. Anyways, because we took that territory from Italy, I don't mind uh, taking some of this territory away from Vichy France and trading it to the Italians, who I've heard, who want to turn the Mediterranean into an Italian lake. Now, it's just what I've been hearing, but it would be quite interesting to see that happen. Um, this jurisdiction, Algerian Desert, let's see, where do I want next? This, Equatorial, uh, Chad, that can go to Africa, Italy, not Africa, it's already in Africa. And this is a pretty good dividing line between who gets what territory. Uh, you know what, I think we're going to leave that there for now. We just had the second Berlin Conference, where much territory was transferred between me, Vichy France, Italy, and Germany. And I'm thinking about maybe, actually, hmm, we have Reichskommissariat of Belgium, but what about the Congo? Leopold Zaire has that as a place. Hmm, now what good African country could I liberate so that they could take care of the infrastructure, the liberation, suppression, oppression type of stuff down there? Hmm. If only I had, like, a M Africa, a Middle Africa or something. Definitely not giving it to Zimbabwe, unless they're actually known as Rhodesia. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Is there, like, South... Oh, maybe a Sud Africa? A Sud Africa actually might work very well. Hmm. Even though this is only part of this. Very nice flag, a DF Milan. I think I like this. I think I like this. What we're going to do is, yes, I'm going to take a little bit of time out of this video. We're going to let it go on anyways. And let's go ahead and transfer all of these states to be a pseudo Reichskommissariat. And I will core all this territory to the Reichskommissariat just because we can. And uh, I wish I could give it like a debuff so it wouldn't have too much extra manpower. But I really don't think it will get that much manpower or very much use anyways. Go ahead and transfer that over. And I really want to use this as an African police state. Wow, that's a weird thing to say. An African police state. So all my colonies will be under... Um, what are we going to call this? Deutsch Sudafrika. Yeah, we're, we're alternating the timelines here now. Uh, not this one. Altering the timeline. Uh, actually, National South Africa. Honestly, this Leopoldville shouldn't be under Belgium. No. 
This should be under the one giant Sud Africa, really central Sud Africa now. Mark core. All my colonies will be under one jurisdiction. And this is the effect of the Berlin Conference round two. Awesome. And yeah, I know maybe I shouldn't be coring all these states for this one country, but I don't. I want them to have a little bit more manpower than just having, you know, this little area, this German area. And yeah, they got a lot of manpower now, but eh. It's what we can do. Volktrekker Monument. Oh. Daily autonomy gain. Oh no, I released the wrong one. But, you know what? As long as I give them stuff, they won't want to be rebellious towards me. So that's no problem. Uh, let's give you monthly thousand pieces of that. We'll give you a thousand pieces of this. And we'll give you... How about 2,500 pieces of that, followed by that much. That should stop any rebellions. Oh, oopsie. And we got one Burundi. Wow, really? These are their own states in Rwanda? Wow. Mark. Mark and core. Cool. Very good. Uh, they're very interesting. Very interesting. Gold exports, hot desert, or hot desert equipment. Awesome, so they have the policy of appeasement. Well, they chose wrongly, but whatever. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. Ah, welcome. It shouldn't, it shouldn't say national South Africa. It should say D D Deutsch Zentral Sudafrika. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, this is definitely, definitely part of that. Honestly, I'm going to strip pretty much France of everything they have. So... Say shells, it's fine. Ooh, five uh, Japanese convoys. Seventeen Japanese convoys. And we lost two subs. God dang it. This way, the French don't have to worry about overseas expenditures and or population transfers. Totally not going to do that when playing as a German Reich. Of course not. Cool. Cool. And you know what? Very cool. Awesome. Let's see what else has happened. Uh, ooh, two light cruisers and ten destroyers. How cold is my coffee now since I've been up here for a while? Not that cold. Okay, then. <sighs> awesome. Uh, let's see. Cool. More of you. It's fine. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, I'm really debating about this French territory, though. Uh, I could give this Algerian the desert to Italy, but I think I'm going to probably take the rest of this for myself to make my Africa a little bit more strong. That would be good. Obviously, I'm probably going to give all of, almost at least, almost all of Turkey to Italy, while I keep uh, Istanbul, or what will be known as Constantinople. So that's what we're going to do with that. Uh, but your thoughts on on uh, Africa after the second Berlin conference here. Should I take all the West African portion for the National South Africa, or Deutsch Central Africa, or... What are your thoughts? I already gave them Madagascar, and the French are... They're doing okay. Now, our, our fighting here in China isn't super great, but it's not super terrible. The Japanese, I'll let you know, have a lot of ships still, but not as many ships as before. Why am I talking like this? I have no idea. Uh, let's see. They still have quite a few ships, though. A lot, a lot of screens. A ton of screens. Very awesome. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm going to click on this. Uh, we've got quite a few guys here. Go ahead and merge these two. I've got 15 m more ships to put in this group here. They're all going to patrol, since so I've added one more group. And we still have <clears throat> a large number of extra backup ships that we can use. Now, I'm thinking probably we'll just form another patrol group at this point. We might as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to take all the destroyers, all the light cruisers, so that's... 30, 29, 29 screens, so we can afford up to 9 capital ships. So we'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, we got a happy cruiser. We need one more battle, two battle cruisers, three battleships, and then uh, we could probably add in one more heavy cruiser. There we go. That's nice. That's very nice. And you'll be under 
Uh, both of you suck. So, Max, Maximilian Vilbs. Very cool. You guys, 38 ships in total. You will be the next strike force. And you will come down to... Ooh. Oh, we lost a sub. That's not cool. That's not ooh. That's uh. Uh, you will rebase... No, you will rebase here. Tanjanika. And they will start and begin to build up the port here. As well as begin patrolling and being a strike force towards someone else. Anything else. Actually, before we actually really move on, let's make sure that you are known as... Uh, let's see. Oops, caps locks are on. Strike force. Two. Uh, let's see. And I forgot to start the timer on my phone. So, hopefully I won't go over too long. Anyways, strike force two. However, the ships here will be known as... Uh, the Furs Faust. Furs. What is left in German? Furs. Other Faust. So we have one fist. Now we have the other fist. We have two fists. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. And we lost... Oh, we didn't lose anything. But the enemy lost 11 destroyers. Very cool. India is falling fairly nicely. Fairly decently. This is very good for us. Very, very good. Tanks, you are sitting there. You know what? Send all tanks to Tibet. Because nothing says warfare like tanks strolling into Tibet. Oh. Cool. Very cool. China, we are almost splitting you. Oh, we're actually doing well in this part of Russia. What was Russia? Kurt Student, great general. Great, 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 great general. And really, my goal is to kill off a lot of the Japanese ships here. And I guess a lot of convoys as well. Oh, hello. Two convoys, goodbye. Oh, a mechanized division is doing great. Hasso von Manteuffel. Do you have anything? No. Shizuichi? That's his first name or something. Oh. Degaussing. Awesome. Any better armaments for our ships? Yes. Improved medium batteries. Very nice. 19 Japanese convoys sunk. Two subs of ours were lost in exchange for 14 convoys. And another convoy was sunk. Not bad compared to the 4 million casualties they have suffered. Small caliber semi armored piercing shell. Awesome. Let's get the next one. Immediately just go straight for the next one. We're going to need to get more manpower though. Oh, we have the capacity for more. Another carrier. Interesting. Cruiser, destroyer, heavy ship repairing, refitting. Uh, you're done. So actually, I'm going to take you off just because we probably don't need you as much and I can use those. Dockyards or something else. Definitely need more destroyers, though, actually. Cruiser holds are okay. Actually, you know, let's take one off. I mean, yeah, it's currently in production, but whatever. So we can spread around some more of these holes and dockyards. We can actually repair, refit stuff. You will come to Brittany, because that's where I put all of my subs. Dancing. Or not Brittany. Otto? Oh, you're up here. Duh, right? Right? Am I stupid about this? Subs? Yeah, just go to subs. Screw it. Ah, uh, let's see. Nice. Another convoy sunk. Another convoy. Cool. Alright. Are our ships here yet? No, they are not. Hmm. Where did the ships go? Sheepies. Oh, you're still moving. Cool. Very awesome. Felix Steiner. Cool. You're coming here. You're having a good time. The Württemberg. The Sachsen. The Rhineland. The... Flugzeug Trager 3. Cool. Uh, let's see. Injured. Uh, you will be Strike Force, which really needs to move up, honestly. Uh, maybe I should have made that a better naval base. But, Strike Force for East Indian Ocean. Actually, I'll improve this one instead. That's probably a better idea. And instead of this, that'll be fine. And let's make sure we turn off a lot of these. Turn it off, turn it off. Madagascar, turn it off, off, off. Ah, four. You know what? Even though that's a level four port, I'm not going to turn it off just because it is in a area that really doesn't have any other places where our ships can go repair. Cool. 
very awesome. Completely, pretty much ignoring the land war. And wow, we've actually gotten really far into Asia. China. Ooh. Very cool. Oh my goodness. This is going to need some more infrastructure. This is going to need some more infrastructure. Maybe a little bit more fuel. Definitely going to need more manpower. But I really don't want to put any more manpower on this. Just because that costs, you know, that costs construction time and stuff like that. Where are you guys? You guys are over here. Oh. Huh. Go ahead and finish the island off. And then, you know what? We might actually start bombarding all the Japanese invaded here. God dang it. Uh, coasts? Yeah. You guys have orders, right? Yeah. Go ahead and send the seven guys down here. Send the 17 guys, that, though, around here. Yep, it looks like the Swedes are trying to help us out. But that's probably going to be a little bit futile. Oh, nice. A couple more screens sunk. Followed by a few more screens sunk. Uh, who is the master down here? Kick it up a notch. Maximilian. Oh, maybe you don't have orders. Maybe you need more orders. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I want India done by this, by the end of this episode. Very cool. Very nice. Uh, and we have currently here Heinz Uderian and Friedrich Schultz. Tanks, ready to go. You guys are probably going to join the East Greater Co Prosperity Sphere. Eastern Co Prosperity Sphere, as it's going to lag very, very much. Awesome. And here comes the lag. Hmm, coffee. This coffee batch, not super great. Hmm. Did I ever use the same cup? I can't remember. Oh, well. That guy, this guy looks cool. Judah, Judah. As an American, you're going to say Judah Rana. Judah Rana. Judah Rana. You can be fancy or you can be an American. Uh, let's see. Oh, we attack that way. How about we go this way? What is this division made up of? Not bad stats, really. They're not that too bad stats, but really, when you're fighting against tanks, you're probably not going to do super well. Super, super well. Awesome. Very good. Hmm. Italy... Yeah, look at a large portion of Turkey. Well, I, they stop where Iran begins. I do want Sud to roll. I do want Sud to roll, but what could I give Turkey, or Italy in exchange for Sud to roll? Maybe a portion of Greece, actually. Ooh! We've actually hit a destroyer around here. Nice! Good stuff, guys. Very good stuff. And actually, who's down here? I can't remember anymore. You guys, go ahead and move in if you can. Y'all... Let's get to Vladivostok. That'd be good, right? This is a very not strong copy. Uh, Tibet. Awesome. And yes, I could be using my tanks for probably a little bit better. Oh well. Oh, we already just... Yeah, we are just fighting on them. That's just fine. Just send the tanks down here. Fine with me. Let's maybe... Yeah, I want to kick it up a notch a little bit, but we'll see what happens. Ooh. More Japanese ships. Love it. Nice. Three more light cruisers and nine more destroyers sunk. We lost a plane. It's fine. Happens, you know. Vladivostok. Oh, look at all the divisions they landed here in Vladivostok. But that's going to be a sad, sad day when they all get captured. And magically disappear. It's magically delicious. Awesome. Three more light cruisers and then nine destroyers. Great. They're all versing a couple of light cruisers, a battleship, a couple of destroyers, and a heavy cruiser. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. Slowly crushing in to... I almost said Iran, but it's India. India. Let's see. You guys are having a good old time sitting up here. Cool. But not really. Awesome. Go ahead, go when you can. That's just my plan. Cancel lend lease, that's fine. I don't really care. Where are you guys at? You guys are shaping up to coming around this type of area. That's fine. Your goal is really down to get to get down there. Ace pilot promoted the Japanese. I know they're demobilizing some manpower because apparently went with total mobilization. They still got a lot of divisions though. We got a lot, a lot of divisions. Next episode will probably be focused on taking out the Japanese mainland. The next episode might be the last one, so. 
the actual last episode in this series. Which is fine with me, and then we'll move on probably to Kaiserreich, and then after Kaiserreich, after that following campaign, I'll probably go play as Austria then, so. And once again, we got a ton of lag, but that's not the only country we're going to take out eventually. We have a place called Bhutan. Yes, sounding like an American. Bhutan, or Bhutan, if you're a little bit more refined. Cool. Um, da -dum 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 Is that good enough? Oh, wow, oh, oh, actually, we're in quite a bit of political power today. It's fine with me, whatever. God, oh no, I'm talking like a weirdo again. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's kind of weird. Uh, is anyone actually over here? How would you just help him out? Very cool. Johannes Blaskowitz, one of the best generals we've ever had. Actually, since we are so... Oh, baby, look at this. Oh, this, could, this would be terrible if you lost 16 divisions to Japan after you tried to invade with Confederates guarding the port of Vladivostok. That's something you would probably never see. Confederates, Confederate Americans defending Vladivostok with a tank and four infantry divisions against a Japanese invasion. Oh, we lost a destroyer, actually. Wow. Well, we did kill 12 enemy ships, followed by another 12 enemy ships. Fair exchange? Probably. Probably. Uh, you guys go in here. Let the tank kind of go a little bit faster. Cool. Also, by Manteuffel, Panzer Expert, please. Thank you very much. Very cool. More divisions. Love it. All right. Now we've got to really focus on... Actually, yeah. I'm going to have to really improve them how much manpower we have. I need more uh, refineries, though. I have to have more refineries. And eh, we'll put it... We don't really... Well, we could use more dockyards, but I'm not really interested in dockyards anymore. Get some more refineries there. Put them in Danzig. Put them in what was the Soviet Union. Wow, that's 100% infrastructure. Holy crap. I've been building a lot. Cool, let's get some more fuel, because I'm going to actually have to put in a ton more planes now. Cool. Mountaineers, sure. Special forces, sure. Ships, great. They're more than good. They're great. Oh, you have nothing to do. Well, I'm sure the Japanese will invade us once again fairly soon, so... No worries, you will have to fight soon enough, once again. Cool. Go on, go down to the line. I don't want you to fight just yet. And we sent a light cruiser. Awesome. You. Nice. 12 more ships. I guess the AI really likes having 12 ships screen task forces made of 3 light cruisers and 9 destroyers. Very interesting to see that. Very, very interesting. Armies. Uh, let's add in 400 heavy fighters. I still haven't deleted all these planes here. 400. Let's do that. And then we'll come across a couple more ports here and there. Cool. And they are deployed. Oh, well, I guess it turned into 600. Alright, whatever. I don't really care. And then over here, we'll need a couple more... Naval bombers. Hmm. Actually, tactical bombers could be really good as well, but I don't think I have a lot of tactical bombers that are past level one. So let's go ahead and just instead use naval bombers for now to help bomb the hell out of their uh, ships. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. 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 And the Italian navy's here, actually. Uh, and well. They lost a ship, but they did sink two ships with some support from our planes. Depth charges, fleet anti-air, torpedoes, heavy guns, light guns, positioning. Cool. Not bad. Three Italian destroyers for quite a few enemy ships. Very nice. Uh, and once I hit less than 100,000 manpower, I'm going to go switch my conscription levels. Nice. Another destroyer sunk. Bhutan is about to get sunk completely. And light cruiser has been sunk. Great. Oh, actually, we don't have anyone. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, being crazy, that crazy, might be a little much, a little bit of a bad idea. Oh, wait, are we already at war with them? Did we try to get in here already? Oh, I didn't tell you guys to go. Can you break in through here? That'd be great. And then travel that way. Yeah, Nepal, as much as you want to try to defend and fight me off... You actually have a lot of manpower. Holy crap. You have up to five divisions, but up to half a million manpower. Now, I was not expecting that, but India is falling so fast, fast enough, that I really don't care what I just thought. Yeah. 
totally normal here right now. Military police. Cool, signal companies, yeah. 1,300 factories. We've almost cut off Korea from the rest of Japan, from China. That's good, that's good. Let's see, any more losses? Lots of ships again sunk. Oh, wow, five light cruisers and 16 destroyers. Good lord. It looks like we're not really finding too much here. I'm going to move you over to here, the Bay of Bengal instead. There you go. Now, two more convoys, two more convoys, another destroyer. Manchuko has capitulated. Very good, very, very good. We lost a plane. But we did sink two enemy destroyers, followed by three enemy destroyers. This area is very disgusting, but that's okay. Go ahead and move in. Armor capping, armor piercing cap shell. Let's go to the next one as well. All right, so for you guys, kick, turn up the heat a little bit. Turn up the heat. More coasts sounds pretty good to me. Where can I put these coasts though? I already have all of Asia pretty much covered, except for Qingdao, which I will take back in the peace conference. Qingdao will be mine. Is there anything else going on? Anyone else trying to naval invade? No, it doesn't look like it. We're all suffering together on the land, except for the Japanese ships, and I didn't realize that I lost all my manpower. Okay, then, all adults serve. Well, you kind of have to have all adults serve when you're taking over the world. I mean, I've legit taken over the entire world. There's no one in Europe. Oh, Nepal's gone, finally. No one in Africa or the Americas that can really say no to me. So, you know, if it means I have to go to all adults serve to get enough manpower so that I can be successful in taking over the world, then so be it, no no problem, no problem. Better infrastructure, uh, sure. Infrastructure, infrastructure, yes. Yes, yes, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, oh, and of course the Japanese came back. I knew they would invade somehow, some way. Pretty typical of the Japanese, but that is to be expected. Go ahead and go to war with them. Now, I don't think there's any neutral country left in the entire world as the game lags very, very hard. Cool. Ah, oh, look at that lag. Very nice. More Japanese ships. Oh no, it's a Thai ship or a Siamese ship. Yeah, they're Siamese, are they? Or they're Siam, so Siamese. Sometimes like being called Thai instead. Huh. You guys, you know what? Let's go a little bit ham right now. Let's see what, what type of damage we can do if we go ham. And we really focus on taking out Korea, because if we stabilize a Korean front, that'll give us more access to plane bases, airplane bases. And <clears throat> deny the Japanese ports, I guess, technically, if we want to bomb the hell out of them. Let's come on down here. Just take, put them out of their misery. Put them out of their misery. India is looking great, though. So great. Awesome. And there goes Bhutan. Not really much of a chance for them to survive. Uh, you know what? You guys do far eastern, southeast... Hmm, let's do this. I know it's close to Australia and they might bomb our ships, but it's a w risk worth... Oh, taking! Oh, nice! Carriers here, great! And also convoy, awesome. Korea has been cut off from China. Awesome. And you guys are actually surrounded and encircled. Some of you guys are really injured. That's okay. And I got some more dockyards, nice. Um, Does anyone want upgrades? Ships that I'm not even using yet. Where are you? Look at all these ships. God dang, there's so many ships here. Oh, there's 10 subs there too. Hmm. Actually, suck to you guys. Uh, go ahead and repair all of you if you need to. Here. Does anyone need upgrades? I mean, I just made some of you guys. Some of you guys are level 1, actually. And that's because you are actually my ships? No, you're not. I didn't actually make these. These are someone else I probably annexed. No, they don't even have names on them. Um, this one is HRMS Herzog Hendrik. Hmm. Go figure. Whatever. Uh, you know, send you home. You go ahead and repair. You've been doing a great job. 
Dockyards, I'm pretty much going to ignore them at this point. Cool. Von Witzleben, injured. It's fine. Happens. Over 2 million casualties, that's what I kind of figured. The Japanese are approaching 6. And I will nuke the Japanese because I haven't forgotten about the decision down here yet. Nu execute nuclear strikes on Japanese soil. So, I do have... Oh, actually, there's a lot of planes here. Holy crap. I'm going to take all 2,000 planes here and migrate them somewhere else. Hmm. Come here. Sea of this thingy. And then I'll actually improve this airspace as well. Because I know they're sending con convoys up this area, probably. Maybe. Maybe there's ships up there. Maybe there aren't. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Who cares? The bomb the hell out of everything, including a light cruiser and another carrier. The Japanese actually make a lot of carriers. They don't care very much for battleships, which is kind of strange, because historically they like building the biggest battleships the world has ever seen. But in this one, they really love the carriers. They had like 25 carriers last time I checked. Nice, Beijing is ours. Yeah, our attacks aren't super great. But that's okay. That's that's okay. And you know what? From here on out, let's actually rearrange this to be a, kind of a nice line. So, probably actually not tomorrow. But the f next day after that, I will s we will finish up this campaign. That's what it looks like, at least to me. Definitely get Logistics Wizard so that our guys don't suffer from attrition. That's very important in my mind. Very, very important. N two carriers. Two dos carriers. Two carriers. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Destroyer. Great. Two. Four carriers in total. Holy smokerinos. Oh, my goodness. Okay, go ahead and push those guys in. So we can actually push through Korea, guys. Or not. Um... Yeah, go ahead. Good, 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 good. I need all of you. Actually. Hmm. Where are you guys at? I'm going to need another army. All 120 divisions. Rearrange yourselves for a massive push this way. And actually, tanks. Banning your front. Yeah, I'm abandoning the Korean line just for a little bit. They don't have that many divisions on there. You're coming to Korea. You guys are fast enough. I can trust you guys, hopefully. And you guys will probably do a good enough job. Ooh, what's this? Oh, there's a big old fleet here. With even four more carriers. And some Spanish subs. Interesting. Go ahead in North Korea. Best Korea. Begin building a level 7 radar station, even though we can only build up to level 6. Great. Mm. Oh, you definitely go need some infrastructure up there. Good. Good, 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 good. Lost the plane, ships, like a destroyer. Eh, nice. Nice. Very cool. Very good. Uh, looks like these guys aren't doing, really doing anything. Oh, maybe they're moving around, maybe. Uh, actually, send the Marines up that way, since we probably won't need them too much in India anymore. It'll take them a while, but it takes the Japanese a while to move through that part of Asia. And go. And go. And go. That'll be fine. Ah, very nice. Let's just do our sunk. Oh, a couple more screens sunk. A couple more screens sunk in exchange for one of my destroyers. <clears throat> oh, what do we found here? See, even more screens. More screens. How many ships do you have left, Japan? I've been blowing hundreds of ships up. Less, th almost 300. Wow, they started with like around like, what was it 600, 650? And now they have around or less than. 300 ships. That's how devastating our Navy and a lot of naval bombers are. Absolutely devastating. Oh, this area has been encircled. Let's manually make sure that these guys actually get taken care of. And by taken care of, I mean not living anymore. Uh, you guys come here. Actually, you guys come down here. You guys come here, and then y'all just push into Port Arthur. Or Di Dalian. Dalian. Cool. Very cool. Well, I need my tanks up here quickly. Uh, cool. Very nice. Very nice. Pushing in when the Japanese can't hold us back. Six and a half million Japanese casualties. Ooh. 
It's a lot of dead guys. Yeah. Oh, a heavy cruiser was sunk as well. Cool. Very good. Oh, we actually have an airplane air plane base now. Yeah, between this episode and next, I will fix this all up, make sure it looks kind of nice. At least nicer than what it currently is. One, two, three, four. Do the yellow sea, actually, so that way they can't get support through there. And add in a couple more naval bombers as well. Cool. Go ahead and do that. And Korea, the tanks are here. They have finally arrived. Very, very good. Small caliber armor piercing shell. Great. Cool. Nice. A little more uh, ships sunk. And you know what? This is really disappointing to say. But we really haven't been getting that much naval experience at all. We've been getting some, but not very much. It's kind of disappointing. I wish that they didn't change or nerf how much XP, naval XP, you could get. But I understand it. This is still disappointing. Convoys, convoys in exchange for a plane. Convoys in exchange for a plane. Go ahead and just put them out of their misery. Those Peruvians, eh? They didn't want to live anyways. Let's be real, they didn't want to live. They didn't want to be here anyways. And I will end the episode very soon. Just so many convoys are getting sunk now. So good. Three more convoys. Another destroyer. Two more convoys. I'm running out of fuel, which is actually very surprising seeing as I have so much fuel. Or at least we had so much fuel when we started. Nice, nice. People are wounded, people are injured. That's fine. You guys, I need... In I want to finish up India. Come on, let's finish up India here. Just push, 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 push. Then we can continue moving forwards, more and more forwards, into Japanese held territory. Guys, get down all the way here. Take out the port. Feel good about yourselves. Have a some birthday cake ice cream, because for one of these soldiers, it's got to be their birthday since... How many soldiers? How much manpower do we have in the field? Well, we got over 550 divisions. Uh, let's see. We have 9,000 battalions, 604 divisions in total, and a total of 4.1 million manpower currently in the field. That is a buttload of men. But not an extreme buttload of men. Now, the Soviets, they probably fielded actually much more manpower in the field than I did, but obviously that wasn't enough to beat German superiority. Go figure. Cool. And actually, yeah, cool. Actually, this area is almost done. Dealt with. Very cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Go ahead and wrap these areas up, guys. Send the tanks this way. Come on, get Korea. Awesome, awesome, awesome. India is almost done. Sunk a light cruiser, sunk a light cruiser, sunk 11 destroyers, and then 11 more destroyers, followed by three more convoys. We're almost done with this part of India. Yeah, it's not all of India, but it's close enough. Come on. And then we'll end the episode. Oh, that is French. And I'm going to let someone take Ceylon out, so. No worries, no problems. And India is pretty much done. I mean, yeah, part of this is part of modern-day India, but whatever. Very, very cool. So, let's end that here, guys. We've done very well. We've already had the Berlin Conference Round 2. And we're just mopping up other little portions and parts of Japanese-held Asia. With that in mind, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Berlin Conference Part 2. Uh, like the video if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we finish off mainland Asia, and then in the following video, we take out Japan. Thanks for watching.